in this video let's understand what are the two different options using which you can consume azure ai service from your applications so we have got rest api and an sdk so as you all know rest api is nothing but user interface or oh sorry api interface that azure ai services provide using which your application can send json data request over http and call the service function your ai service function based on the requirement whether they have a post request or a put request or a get request and they will get the response from your rest apis of your ai service in the form of json and the output from the api also will be encapsulated in your json response so this is how you can make use of these rest apis and consume your is your ai service in your application <coughs> now this rest api is okay if you have a very simple application uh, not very complex but when it comes to developing complex application it is always good to use sdk or it is always good to install the service libraries the packages that we have available almost for all your ai service capabilities we have got sdk packages so you can install those packages and then start using the capabilities of your ai service so these packages actually encapsulate all the rest apis and you have packages available for different language of your application that you might have developed in like .NET, Python, Node.js, JavaScript. So you've got almost in every language these SDKs available. So these are the two options that you can make use of. Internally these SDKs use the REST API. Yeah, I just want to give you uh, the brief overview of the how of the ways that you can use to consume these AI services. Thank you. See you in the next video, and we will see how we can create and consume the AI service from the portal.